color of the blood we left from stone and earth. Red is the color of the ink we used to play this word. Gray is the color of the hips bondage we're living in. Green is the color of the fuel for the fire my hope runs thin. We need a worldwide revolution. Retribution, restitution. Yeah, you want to stay yeah. close to your mom? Yeah, just take my information. Okay, no worries. Uh, all right. Mark. Got Fraser, Mark, these guys. I'm not allowed on city property. Since when? Because I didn't get a notice. And I wasn't verbally told anything. I haven't been here for the last two weeks. I tell the people in Costco, that's got nothing to do with Oh, okay, so I can stand here and I'm good. Okay. What's going on, Kara? I would uh, try to, I would do what I can to contact some of these people. They might be really going? interested in uh, meeting you. Because, yeah, we probably are like-minded. So, just to be clear, you were just walking by, and now they're giving you a ticket for walking around. Well, for me, asking what's going on, right? There's people gathering, I want to know, people are singing. <laughs> yeah, no singing. No, no singing. I think that's part of the new... Uh... So everyone knows my birthday now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I should have asked before I pointed the camera at you. I assumed you you were okay uh, with that? That's fine. I, well, it needs to be out there. Okay. Well, I'm going to walk away while they take your information. Yeah. And get that. So, uh, Anthony, what do yeah. you think? Should we find a supervisor and sort this out? Uh, yeah. Maybe it might be a good idea. All right. Yeah. Who's your supervisor, uh, bud? That's right there, bud. Really Which one? Sergeant. Sergeant? Oh, okay. Now he's threatening to arrest me. Not threatening. I'm just no, no, advising you how it's going to go. If you, if you don't keep going with this information, he wants all my information. No, I'm going to give you all my information. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I am going to give my name is Cecilia, but I'm going to give yeah. you all my information. Don't step too close so to me, Frazier. I don't want to Oh, she's giving address. Don't you step too close to Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, everyone's giving out information. How many go through if I get a quick interview? But, uh, <laughs> With this situation, I'd like to have a conversation with you. Cat, I identify as cat. Yep. Recognize. The supremacy of God. That's the very first thing to do. That's the very first uh, section of the police services. Number two is to. Uh, the understanding to, that you're charged with protecting exactly. those liberties. Yeah, one of, the, one of them is freedom of movement yeah. and freedom of peacefulness. Yeah. And we're in the middle of a very big pandemic right now. That's why they put lockdown on. Um, yeah, and in, in that literature I gave you, um, there's only there's one of many examples yeah. of people that have evidence to the contrary that. So the other thing about this act, they were supposed to. Talk to my partner. I'm going to talk to you, sir. As to why they're going against the charter, they didn't even mention the charter they're supposed to in, in that area act, the so called emergency act. They are charged with the responsibility to um, give 
demonstrable evidence as to why they are trespassing this charter, which is sacred to the foundation of our nation. And that's what you as officers are also charged to do in your police services act. That's why it's all in that literature. That's why, that's why I'm sharing it with you. Because I don't know if many officers understand the, the fundamental uh, principles and how important they are. Like this, I know you get a job, you just sort of just take an oath and keep keep moving on, and then you get orders and you follow the orders. So that's why, like I, I don't see you as our, our enemy or anything like that, and that's why I'm here peacefully today. Has she given away your information? Yes, yeah, yeah, she's done. Oh, okay. oh no, because I'm live. No, all yeah, all of it. I gave all all the information. Um, so I don't know what they'll do. Um, but anyway, so um, that's that's why as a, as a citizen right now, like I said, like I'm I'm a single parent. And special needs. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't want to be here. But when I saw that police, especially my own Hamilton police, were going against all of that, it became my duty as a citizen. That's why I'm here. Okay? Um, I really don't want to be here. Like I said, I got so many And I'm not being paid here. Um, you know? And so I, and now I might even have to uh, pay money I don't have. If you guys decide to ticket me, or worse, um, well, you can you can you can do certain things, but you know it is still up to individuals. Just like when you pull somebody over for speeding, if perhaps it wasn't that much <laughs> over and it was a first offense, you might decide okay. You have the discrepancy say, okay, well, I'll let you go on a warning. So you also have that choice. So that's why I say I'll leave it to you because God is watching and one day we all will have to answer. Well, we are, you know, we're explaining that to you, right? That we're giving you sort of that warning now, right? You know, I mean, as you said, we're going to go. Okay, so is it a warning or are you going to show up in my door? Before she answers that, Celia, would you like to do some push ups with us? <laughs> well, we're doing push-ups and we're doing jumping jacks. And also before you answer that, um, you guys are aware, you guys are federally regulated through the Bill of Rights, which protects our rights to assembly and our fundamental rights, right? So if we're by charging people and shutting down protests and um, what I witnessed here a couple weeks ago through YouTube videos, I wasn't here personally, but through YouTube videos, which is unacceptable of our police force, right? Um, all, all we're asking is for you guys to uphold your your oath for number one and to abide by the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the Bill of Rights as you guys are federally regulated through that, right? So by giving out tickets, you guys understand that that goes against the Bill of Rights, right? If we're in a pandemic. Right, but, but that, okay, but the, from my basic understanding, okay, and it's just basic understanding that... All what can happen, the only way the Bill of Rights can be recommended is through an act of parliament, which has not been done. It means that we're still in a pandemic, we're not, we can't have more than five people at a gathering, right? right. That, that is what we're here to make sure everyone's safe. I, mean, I got you, I got you, but, but how, how are you protecting people by giving them tickets and not protecting our Bill of Rights? understand what you're saying, but I do. I do, but you have to understand why we're here, right? Oh, I get, I get why you guys are here. I get why you guys are here. You're just, right, we're, we got to make sure we're peaceful, right? Um, and I just, I, again, I'm just trying to understand all of this a bit better because I guess all of us are confused, right? Like, all, a lot of us are like, well, why, 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 right? Remember, two weeks to flatten the curve, and here we are nine months later, right? And we're charters being violated. Our Bill of Rights are being violated. You guys are, your oaths are being violated, Right? Like, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just hard to wrap your head around something this, this weird. Right? But that, that's all I have to say for now. But thank you for talking to me. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Black in the color of the blood we left from stone and earth. Red is the color of the ink we used to claim its word. Of the his bondage we're living in. Green is the color of the fuel.